I'm going to give a crash course on GCQ today. To save time, I've, I've have, uh, set up everything by following the GCQ 101 step by step. Now I'm focusing on explaining the DDL, the loading language, and the GCQ queries. I'm putting two terminals side by side. And on the left hand side is a live GCQ terminal that uh, I'm going to do some live demo. And on the right hand side, I open a read only uh, text uh, terminal. And so I can show what uh, query and the DDL and uh, what loading language I'm talking about. So I'm going to start now. So the first thing you need to uh, do a graph database is to create a graph schema. And user uh, can define some vertex type and uh, some edge types. They are very similar to the table or relation concept in, in the relational database world. A vertex type um, must uh, uh, have a primary ID field here. So I highlight uh, what I'm talking about now. And this primary ID is used to uniquely identify a vertex instance. It's just like the primary ID in a relational table. And uh, we use the primary ID to indicate this uh, special field. So in this particular example, I, I use name, a person's name as a primary ID, and it has a string type. And a vertex type can also have zero or more attributes. This is also a familiar concept in the relational database world. A table can contain uh, uh, multiple attributes and to, to uh, or, or you call it the columns. And then you can use this syntax, create the vertex and name and then primary ID and column uh, and name and column type to define a vertex type. Similarly, you can define an edge type an edge type must have two special fields. One is called from field, and the other is to fields. So intuitively, this from and to uh, fields can uniquely identify an edge instance. And also, you can have zero or more attributes in this edge type. And what's special about edge is uh, in the real world, you can model an edge as uh, symmetric or asymmetric. So a symmetric edge type, uh, you can think it as uh, a mutual relationship between two objects. And there's no uh, emphasis on one side, they're mutual. And we use the keyword undirected to indicate uh, edge type is symmetric. On the other hand, sometimes you really have uh, asymmetric uh, edge type. And in that scenario, we use a uh, directly keyword here to indicate it's a one direction. And if I use a directed keyword uh, to define edge type, then the edge can only go from the from vertex type and to uh, the target uh, edge type. So it encodes the direction of the edge type. Here, uh, uh, we also can allow zero or one or more attributes for the edge type. So in this particular uh, social graph example, I use uh, connect date uh, to indicate when the uh, two person become a friends. And the uh, attribute type is date time. So after we define a set of vertex type and set of edge types, I can define the graph. The, uh, to define a graph is the simplest uh, DDL in this uh, DDL command set. So you just uh, create a graph and give a graph name. And then you put a list of the vertex type and the front, uh, edge type into this graph. And that's uh, uh, define a graph. Here in our running example, I define a social graph. And the social graph consists of person vertex type and the undirected friendship edge type. And the friendship edge type connects to person uh, vertex type and they're symmetric. 